Hey! Oh, sorry if I sound congested. Allergy season. You know how it is. Hey guys, it's Juvie and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a cut crease that you see here today. And what's so special about cut crease for me is that I've always struggled doing it. I have smaller eyes compared to like most other YouTubers and like people with big eyelids. They have like so much room to like cut their crease but then mine's just like just like this tiny little fold and I'm just like I don't know how to do it like it's always been a struggle so I finally mastered it. I watched a video recently of somebody doing a cut crease with the Anastasia Prison Palette. I forgot their name but I will link them in the description because I don't want to take full was not, uh, not to really. I don't want to take full credit for it because I mean I did get inspiration from them so I'll give them a shout out because they were great. Well, this cut crease, I say I'm very proud of it because, you know, my eyelids are small and I feel like people with other small eyelids, they should, they relate, you know? They don't know how to, like, cut their crease when they don't even have one. You know, it's really hard and I really want to share this knowledge with, <laughs> if you will, with you guys and see how you guys do it. I hope you guys will be able to recreate it and good luck. Hey guys, so what you first want to do is prime those lids. I just take this concealer and use a brush to place the concealer onto my eyelids and then later on use my finger to blend it all out. So the palette I'll be using today is the Anastasia Prisa palette. The first color I'm going to go in with is Eden. It's this pinky peach shade and this will act as the transition shade for the look. You really want to blend it out and make it very fluffy because then it will give off that blended effect when you have the full look. Then I just clean that brush off to get ready for even more blending. This shade is Saturn. I'm going to use this as another crease shade but focusing it more in the crease rather than fluffing it out. This will just create more dimension and shadow with your crease and especially with my eyelids it'll make it look like I have a crease. Next you'll be actually creating your crease. I go in with the color Parallel, which is a dark brown shade in the palette, and I use this to basically draw a crease. To create this crease, all you have to do is just go where your eye socket is the deepest. Regardless if you have a crease or not, you can still find that area if you just poke in a little bit and see where the deepest area is. And that's how you get your line. And then I just take a bunning brush to bun out that line just a tiny bit. And then I take a clean angled brush in my next concealer to begin the cutting crease process. What you want to do is just work in small strokes. This will help avoid any mistakes in getting any concealer onto the eyeshadow that you already placed. And you really want to draw close to the brown eyeshadow that you place, but don't worry about losing it because we're going to go back in with the brown eyeshadow and place even more to define that area. And now I just go back in the brown shade and just redefine the brown area. Just try your best not to get onto the concealer that we already worked on. Now I'm going to go into the brightest color in the palette, and that color is Lucid. Sorry you can't really read the colors on the palette because, you know, I can't really tell if it's focused or not, so, sorry. But yeah, I just use my finger because I feel like that's the best process in getting these glittery shades on the palette. And I just tap it into the inner corner because I'm keeping this in the inner part. And 
And the next shade I'm going to use is Pyramid, which is this pretty gold shade. And yes, we're going to use our fingers again. And I just placed this in the middle area because I feel like it just reflects the light the best. So, Pyramid it is. And now, finally taking a shadow brush, I go into Eternal, which is this copper shade in the palette, and go right next to Pyramid with it. I try not to go on the very outside of my eye because I'm going to go in with some black eyeshadow later, so just keep it right next to Pyramid and then you'll be good. And you could totally use some setting spray or fix plus to make it even more metallic. I guess I should have done that, but just to keep it consistent because I didn't do it with the other side, I'll just leave it at that. And now taking a small dense brush, I go into the black color Obsidian. I used the brush to just place it onto the outer V and then later use a blending brush to blend it all out. You can see it's already on there it's because my camera st stopped recording, so, but you get the idea. And you really want to do this little by little because I even picked up the black color with my blending brush to add more darkness to the look. So just do it to your desired smokiness because little goes a lot with this palette because it's a very pigmented black. And that's all for the eyeshadow. Well, not really. But I did my eyebrows and face off camera as you can see. And now I'm going to work on the lower lash line. I take the first crease shade that we used, Eden, and use that to buff out into my lower lash line with a small smudge brush. Ugh, small smudge brush. That's a tongue twister. And now with the same process, going to go in with Saturn and put that on my lower lash line as well. And lastly, for the lower lash line, we're going to go in with that dark brown shade, Parallel, and that'll be all for the lower lash. And now for some eyeliner. You can't really see the product name because it all rubbed off, but it's the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner, which is the eyeliner I use for everything, basically. And I just make a really tiny line because I don't really like doing thick liner because my eyes aren't big enough for that and I just do a tiny wing at the corner. And then I take a brown eyeliner to put in my waterline to create more dimension or smokiness if you will and just take that all across my waterline in both eyes. Now I got curled in lashes. For mascara, I am using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara and just place this on the top and bottom lashes. And now I take the Smashbox Contour Palette and use the middle shade to bronze the face. And just so you know, I'm doing that face ironically. It's a joke. So, just to put, gotta put that out there. And I just take the bronzer shade and just put them in my cheekbones and my forehead and also my chin to give some dimension on that face, you know. And then I use the first shade in the palette and the same brush but squeeze the brush so that I can define the nose with it. And now I gotta make that makeup last with my Milani Make It Last spray. Gotta spray it all over the face and then dry it up. Now for some highlight, I use this highlighter from Physicians Formula that I haven't used in a good minute. It's called the Shimmer Strips in Vegas Strip. And I take the lightest shades in the highlighter and use that to highlight the face. And lastly, gotta put on some lipstick. <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. But I'm using the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Speed Dial. And it's this pretty peachy shade and I said it matched pretty well with my top and I was quite surprised. And after what feels like an eternity, your look is finally done. Not gonna lie, I was feeling myself for a bit, but you can too if you try this cut crease out. 
But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you really did try this cut crease out because I loved how it turned out. Wanna see me being extra? Where? Well, here it is. But really guys, I hope to see you guys in the next video. So bye!